Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the secret weapons and vehicles in Halo 4 that you normally can't use. So, as you probably know by now, when Halo 4 came to MCC on PC, 343 added a lot of uh, new vehicles to the game files, and you could access a few of them in Forge. However, since the 360 version days, there were actually a lot more cut weapons and vehicles in the game that you normally couldn't use at all. So let's take a look at what they are. So the first one, let's start with the vehicles actually. The first one is the Space Banshee from Halo Reach, or I'm pretty sure this one is from Halo Reach. It looks a little different than the Halo Reach Space Banshee in that, well, the, its details and textures are quite different. But, you know, it's still recognizable as a Space Banshee and it's still, uh, it's still drivable and everything. The physics of the Space Banshee in Halo 4 are um, also quite interesting in that it's almost like you're uh, flying in like zero G uh, and you know it's just it feels weird to fly like that and also when you do like um, flips like that the, the vehicle kind of like breaks apart almost like uh, Prometheans <laughs> but yeah that's the Space Banshee. Uh, next up we have the Revenant. This is not quite the Revenant from Halo Reach, but it's like a Halo 4 version of the Revenant. In fact, this was actually officially added to MCC. It's just uh, hidden in the game files, but it was newly added. It's just not normally accessible. But you can spawn it in on MCC. Uh, it wasn't on a 360 version though. Uh, prior to the 360 version, it was only um, it was only in like this one beta version of Halo 4 that you could only find it there. But 343 did add this beta vehicle to MCC. And that's what we have here, which is the Revenant. Uh, it's it's mostly complete, actually. It works pretty well. So uh, maybe they'll use it eventually in the future. But next up, we have the Scarab. And yep, it's exactly what it sounds like. It is the actual Scarab that we've all come to know and love. Uh, this particular version of the Scarab is the Halo 3 version of the Scarab. However, I believe this is the... Uh, is actually more of the Halo Reach version of the Scarab, which itself was based on the uh, built off of the Halo 3 version, or more more like a reused version of the Halo 3 Scarab, with maybe like a few texture changes here and there. But it still exists in Halo 4, and it's still all pretty much the same. You can destroy the core of the Scarab, but it doesn't do anything. And just like the Halo 3 Scarab, shooting the um, the core also has the Hunter blood come out of it. Uh, but that's uh, that's basically all there is to the Scarab. It's uh, not actually functional, doesn't blow up, and you can't actually destroy the legs either. And if you're curious what happens if you like make the Scarab active, so to speak, or if you drive the Scarab, well, I do have a, here's a clip, from, a clip from one of my old videos where I did actually drive the Scarab. And the legs partially work, but for the most part, the legs are totally broken. Uh, the animations on them just don't work properly, not without um, a lot of fixing to get them to work. But that's basically what happens if you drive the Scarab, the legs just go all weird. Anyways, let's move on to the weapons now. So, the first weapon we have is the Stasis Rifle. And this is a very cool weapon that I actually wish made into the final game. But this is what it looks like, that is the Stasis Rifle. It's probably a Forerunner weapon. But it fires a Stasis Field here that when, you, when anything goes through it, it slows them down. It's like a... Not necessarily slow down time, but just slows down the physics inside. And even like a vehicle going through gets slowed down by the stasis field that it fires. So it's a really cool weapon, actually. Uh, next up, we have the burst pistol, which uh, it's well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It, it does appear to also be like another forerunner weapon. Um, I'm I believe this is actually what evolved into like the uh, the bolt shot in Halo Five, because this is basically a bolt shot, but like you know a, a burst bolt shot. And, you know, in Halo 4's bolt shot, it's a little bit, the actual one is a little bit different, but in Halo 5, it is closer to this cut version of the bolt shot, or the burst pistol. Next up, we have a lot of uh, leftover stuff from Halo Reach, because Halo 4 is built off of Halo Reach. And one of them is the Halo Reach DMR, which is right here. It's the exact original DMR. Uh, a few things may look a little bit different on it, but it is pretty much the same. It looks uh, pretty much the same. And it's really, it's really powerful, actually, uh, for the projectile shots. But yeah, so that's the Halo Reach DMR. Next up, we have the Halo Reach Energy Sword left over. Uh, this one, it does not look as good as the Reach DMR. There's a, quite a few issues with it. It's missing like effects and stuff like that. 
but that is the uh, Halo Reach energy, energy Sword that's left over. Let me just compare with the Halo 4 Energy Sword real quick. So that's the Halo 4 Energy Sword, and that's the Halo Reach, or the leftover Halo Reach Energy Sword. Um, but it is left over there in the game files, and is still technically fully usable if you spawn it in. Next up, we also have the Halo Reach Target Locator, which is uh, also pretty much fully intact, and actually still, surprisingly, still totally functional, even in Halo 4. So there it is. That's the Target Locator. And once we uh, use it, it, it thinks like you're deploying ordnance, and uh, it it actually uh, it works pretty well still, and it's still pretty cool. Uh, only has one shot though, by default. Obviously, you could mod it to be uh, however to have how many however many shots you want. But yeah, that's the uh, the target locator. Next up, we have the uh, we have George's chain gun from Halo Reach. This is actually a really cool leftover one as well. It's uh, you could still hold it just fine. But it doesn't fire uh, machine gun rounds anymore. It actually fires like these hunter cannon shots. And the uh, the animation for holding it is kind of broken too. You could see like it's kind of weird when I hold it. But yeah, and, and you know it, it's also like I'm guessing like the hunter cannons in Halo Four were, were built off of the George built off of George's chain gun. Just just a guess. Uh, but next up we have the bishop beam. This is another interesting weapon. Uh, also another forerunner weapon. But this one fires a constant beam that actually attaches, like it kind of locks onto and attaches to uh, vehicles. Now, some vehicles, it, for some reason, well, some cut vehicles doesn't really attach onto, like the Space Banshee. But the Warthog, the Revenant attaches fine, but the Space Banshee doesn't really attach to. But it does actually do damage and it will destroy uh, vehicles that's shooting eventually. But yeah, that's the uh, Bishop Beam. Next up, we have the Storm Attach Beam. That is actually what it's called. And, well, this one is a lot more obvious what it is. And I'm not sure why it has a cut variant of it. But this is what it looks like. It's basically the uh, the binary rifle. It's, uh... It, I can only scope in, like, 1x zoom. Or, like, I can only scope in once. I, there's no, like, secondary zoom that goes even closer. But, yeah, it's basically a binary rifle. I, I, I don't know, like, why it has a separate version. Uh, but next up we have a... Uh, the Halo 3 Sentinel, apparently, it's, um, or so, like, I've been told. It doesn't quite look the same as the Halo 3 Sentinel to me, but a lot of it is very similar in design. But, uh, I believe, like, the Halo 3 Sentinel had more edges to it. But it's just the, it's just the model, it's not fully functional, but that is left over in the game files. It's different than the actual Halo 4 Sentinels, so you can see. Uh, next up, we have the Halo Reach Falcon. That's uh, also left over. It's not functional. It's just a model. It's uh, but it is there. But you can't actually drive it. It's not an actual vehicle. Like I said, it's just a model in game. Uh, but we could spawn it in, and this is uh, that's what it looks like. It's not really solid either. But there are. It does have quite a few details left over still. Uh, next up, we have a placeholder model, placeholder 3D model for Cortana that was probably used early in development before they finish the uh, the full final version of Cortana. And that's that's what it looks like. <laughs> that's the uh, Cortana placeholder. Um, yeah, that's, well, there's not really much else to say about it. It, it is, uh, it's not solid in Forge when I fly through it, but when I switch to uh, player mode, it is actually pretty solid. That's the only odd thing about it. But yeah, that's just the uh, placeholder for Cortana. Obviously it's not meant to be used or anything uh, for the final game. And the last thing we'll be taking a look at is the Plasma Launcher, also from Halo Reach. Uh, but this time, it's not a functional leftover weapon from Halo Reach, like the DMR or the Energy Sword. This one, it's just the uh, the model, just the 3D model, and that's that's it. It's um, It can't be used, it's not an actual weapon anymore, but the model itself is still left over in the game and hidden in the game files. So yeah, there you guys have it. That is basically all the... Uh, secret weapons and vehicles in Halo form. Now I do also want to give a big shout out to Seraphacy for making this map. It's a really cool map that showcases all these weapons and if you want to check it out for yourself, the download link is in the description below. But anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and you know, now you get to see what all these secret weapons and vehicles, these cut weapons and vehicles in Halo 4 they normally can't use are like and what it's like to use them. Uh, but of course, if you did it, find this video to be interesting, then as always, make sure to leave a like. Uh, anything else you check out or look into, just let me know in the comments down below. And of course, other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.